For the third year in a row, youth from around the globe have gathered to attend the World's Youth Forum 2019, held as usual in Sharm el-Sheikh, the international city of peace that have earned its title as the capital of the world's youth. Once again, the WYF has proven to be a great success, with more than 350,000 applicants and over 7,000 participants from more than 190 countries in this year's version. It's also evolved in terms of content and effectiveness, as it now has the tools and the know-how to actually implement its resolutions, turning them into reality, putting youth from all over the world one step closer to their dreams. This success did not come by chance. It's the result of the collective thoughts and thorough planning of Egyptian youth, who were originally working on organizing and managing the national youth conferences that have been regularly held in Egypt since 2016 up till now. These young Egyptians wanted to expand their experiences and share it with youth from around the world. And His Excellency Abdel Fattah Sisi endorsed the idea. Hence, the first World Youth Forum was held in Sharm el-Sheikh in November 2017. The first WYF turned out to be a great success, a world-class forum in terms of organization and magnitude, which paved the way for the organizing committee to suggest making it an annual event, the idea that was once again endorsed by the president, leading to the second WYF in 2018. That witnessed more participation, more content development, turning the WIF into an international organization that operates all year round, helping youth from Egypt and the entire globe overcome difficulties, facing their challenges, and fulfill their dreams. And here we are, once again in Sharm el-Sheikh, Sinai in Egypt, where civilization meets. Once again we've come together to work for peace and strive for development. يشرفني أن أعلن من هنا من أرض سيناء المباركة انطلاق منتدى شباب العالم في نسخته الثالثة. Young people are critical agents of change, driving transformation worldwide. I would say respect people's cultures because they're people and um, they might sound different but they're just the same like you. برغم اختلافنا عن بعض كبشر الا انه ربنا حقيقي جمعنا على حاجة جوا كل واحد فينا حاجة اسمها الانسانية All of us have traveled for long distances of land and sea to bridge the distances between people and cultures. Through sessions, workshops, and free discussions. I'm a very important part of the people and the people. It's true. I want to send my uh, sincere respect and love and appreciation for your support and leadership and bringing all the youth to the intersection of the world and the mother of the world. How does the government participate to success of young Egyptian entrepreneurs? Any experience that we have is available to everyone. We hope that the world is all and changed and changed. No one has ever been able to change on the basis of
I am looking forward to our panel discussion today and sharing my views on the relationship between robots and humans. Would you trust humanoid robot? Would you trust it to babysit your child at that point in time? If they do get to a point where they can, you know, take care of children and people, uh, I would trust AIs. Uh, I mean, if it does uh, a good job at uh, protecting them, of course. <laughs> من الجامعات خلال العام الدراسي القادم فيها كل العلوم التي تتحدثون عنها كل العلوم بداية بدي أحمل تحيات فخامة رئيس الجمهورية العماد ميشيل عون إلى فخامة الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي وأشكرك على دعوة لبنان عبر الرئاسة للمشاركة في هذا المؤتمر ولكن الشكر الأكبر فخامة الرئيس هو لاهتمامك الحقيقي والصادق بمستقبل الشباب. We are going to concentrate on youth because we want our youth to learn the history, the culture of each other. We want our youth to participate in what we are doing in our region. All of us have traveled for long distances to bridge the distances between people and cultures through art and the theater. Bridge the distances between people and cultures through creativity in the free dome. We made new friends, shared experiences. كل مرة أنا اللي بتحدث بس وده مش كفاية أنا كمان عايز أدي فرصة لشباب وشابات إن هم يتحدثوا ونسمعهم كلنا أنا مبسوطة طبعا إن أنا بشارك في في الماراثون بتاع العجل وطبعا فخامتك أنا مبسوطة جدا إن أنا واقفة جنبك أنا سيلفي من تايوان شكرا على إعطائي الفرصة كي أأتي إلى هنا من آسيا وأتعرف على الناس من جدد وأتعرف على منطقة الشرق الأوسط وأقعد أقول الناس اللي قالوا من قدامكم دلوقتي 
يعني انا بحبك قوي شكرا سياده الرئيس عطيه تحسيسي على المؤتمر الجميل ده فعلا وريت العالم كله ان شرم الشيخ هي ارض السلام الرساله اللي احنا عايزين نبعتها للعالم كله بوجودنا كده مع بعض ان العالم يسعنا كلنا العالم او الارض اللي احنا موجودين عليها في كل حته في الدنيا تسعنا كلنا من فضلكم عندما تعودوا باذن الله سالمين الى بلادكم تكلموا مع اقاربكم مع اصدقائكم مع الشباب اللي اللي في سنكم ومع حتى الشباب والاجيال القادمه تحدثوا معهم عن اهميه السلام والاستقرار من اجل الانسانيه الشباب امل الشباب طموح الشباب قدره وكمان الشباب بيستهدف عشان يستخدم كاداه لتدمير نفسه وتدمير بلده وتدمير البلاد اللي جنب منه انا بقصد بده بالذات الارهاب الارهاب والتطرف ولا يمكن ابدا اجراءاتنا هتستكمل الا بان وعينا يزيد وكمان مش بس احنا وعينا يزيد لا احنا كمان نتكلم ونفضل نتكلم على اهميه الاعتدال والتوازن بين الناس وعضها البعض Can we definitely got inspired Please welcome the inspiring Jessica Cox Al-Mulhima Jessica Cox Your Excellency President Abdel Fattah Al-Sisi Honorary guest ladies and gentlemen We have all had fantasies of breaking free of our limitations. In the beginning of my journey to becoming a pilot, I found myself tackling some of the most basic challenges that most student pilots don't even think about. And as I looked down on the floor in the airplane, I caught a glimpse of my shoes. And it reminded me of the first time that I tied my shoes on my own. I'd like to leave you who in a very few short years will be ruling the world with a bit of advice. Do whatever you need to do to be heard. Make a difference. Leave your footprint and most importantly, never give up hope. Don't change yourself. Change the game. Bring that egg and butterfly. Egg and an egg butterfly. Look what you've done. Please welcome fighter Zain Yusuf. I am a cancer survivor, but not once, not twice, not three times, but alhamdulillah, thank God, a four-time cancer survivor. Come to think of it now, after spending this time here in Sharm el-Sheikh, attending the World Youth Forum. We've helped, even a little, in making the world a better place. We may have not taken giant steps. The impact of our gathering may not be instant. But when we look back at where we started, we find that we have come a long way. One World Youth Forum at a time. And many more to come. سأنتظركم من العام القادم إن شاء الله ومعي ومعي شباب مصر لنجتمع مجددا نتحدث ونتناقش ونستمع الى بعضنا البعض نستكمل ما بداناه معا فهو عهدي بكم كعهدكم بي <تصفيق>
Yeah, man. 